بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي ونسلم على رسول الكريم سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين إلى يوم الدين أما بعد If people really knew how much their privacy was breached they would have done things differently The damage the consequences if only people knew Sometimes somebody is so much in the system, they look at somebody else, he's not on social media, he's not on face, Facebook, he's not on Instagram, he's withdrawn, there's something wrong with him. No, there's something wrong with you. He knows the importance of being private. He knows the importance of being private. Remember, these corporations thrive on your anti-privacy. You craving to go public. Why? They are surviving at your expense. The day you decide to go private is the day they go down. So people are so much into these systems that we don't realize. Generally if somebody is a, 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 a spy and he, and he spies on people then that is looked down upon. Why? Because you cannot spy on people. It is, it is not good. It is not praiseworthy. So you are infiltrating people's privacy. You are snooping around. So that is something which, which is not uh, looked upon well. Eavesdropping is, is a very bad trait. It's unethical. But when it comes to online, then we are silent. We are part of it, we are promoting it. And uh, any click you make, every click decides who you support in. So all these systems are there for extortion. We shouldn't get caught, especially the people of Iman, because of the destruction it can cause. So sometimes something is free so people get caught. No, if it's free it can snatch away your freedom. So extortion systems are engineered. There was a lawyer's son who wanted to follow his father's footsteps. So he went to law school, he graduated with honors and he decided to join his father in the law firm. So after the first day he finished, at the end of the day he ran excitedly to his father to break the news. What's it son? Guess what dad? On my first day I've cracked that accident case you've been working on for the past four years. Means you were still busy with it for four years. I cracked it, problem solved, case closed. Why the father said you fool? You fool, what do you think put you through law school? What do you think put you through law school? So extortion to the highest level, it's all about how people can fill their bank balances. A man went to a lawyer for help, he said, what are the fees? The lawyer said $50 for three questions. So the man said, that's very expensive, that's very expensive, isn't it? So the lawyer said, maybe, but you've got one more question left, that's two questions down, you've got one more. So that's the world, that's the era we, era we are living in, living in. So Quran says, وَلَا تَجَسَّسُوا Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu ijtanibu kathiran min al-dhan. O people of Iman, avoid suspicion. Suspicion can cause sin and do not spy. Alama Qurtubi, explaining this ayah has said, Khudhu ma dhahara wa la tattabi'u awrata al-muslimin. 
whatever comes to you accept it and do not infringe on the privacy of the believers اي لا يبحث احدكم عن عيب اخيه do not ever pry and seek flaws after Allah has secured it, Allah has covered it up and you're trying to expose it. Alama Tabri explaining this, as he said, وَلَا يَبْحَثْ أَنْ سَرَائِرِهِ Whatever it's secretive, whatever is hidden, leave it to that. Alama Ibn Hajar Asqalani quoting Alama Qurtubi has said, الْمُرَادُ بِذَنْ هُنَا أَتُّهْمَا التي لا سبب لها So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explaining and guiding us that shun suspicion thoughts, evil thoughts this is referring to accusations which are baseless a, a evil thought, a, a, a bad notion of somebody itself is tantamount to a sin, why? Because after that Allah says وَلَا تَجَسَّسُوا Now you've got doubt, now you want to verify and you want to investigate but you will go beyond that. So you will start doing things what you're not supposed to do. So this is a prohibition from unfounded suspicion. So uh, Umar uh, bin Khattab radiyallahu anhu say wala tadhunna bi kalimatin kharajat min akhika al-mu'min illa khayran Never think bad of the word that comes out of your believing brother's mouth never think ill wa anta tajid laha fil khayri mahmala as long as you can find a good excuse for it Whatever he utters, find a good reason. Rewrite of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu. Iyakum wa dhan. Fa inna dhan akthabu al-hadith. Beware of suspicion. Where suspicion is the worst of false tales. Wa la tajassasu. Wa la tahassasu. Wa la tanafasu. Wa la tahasadu. Wa la tabagadu. Wa la tadabaru. Wa kunu ibad Allah ikhwana. Do not spy, no, 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 do not look at others' faults, do not be jealous, do not envy, do not hate, do not desert. And be brothers. Another riwayat. وَلَا تَقَاطَعُوا وَلَا تَدَابَرُوا وَلَا تَبَاغَضُوا وَلَا تَحَاسَدُوا Do not shun each other, do not ignore each other, do not hate each other, do not envy one another. وَكُونُ عِبَادَ اللَّهِ إِخْوَانَا And be like brothers. Be like brothers. So these are important guidelines and these platforms breach. It's all about knowing about everybody else, investigating, prying, voyeur. So eventually the mizaj, the mindset of a person changes completely. He's on another platform. These platforms take you on another platform. So the mentality, the outlook starts becoming like the 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 the, the the platforms of Bati, like person's outlook changes. So uh, this mindset and this attitude of deen, this mizaj of deen to be preserved, we have to be very cautious. It comes with the temperament of our own. It starts prototyping our minds according to their thinking. It's like a complete program reboot, a new installation, a new download, new software completely. And subtly, it starts governing a person. So we have to be very cautious. Manatani Rahmatullahi explaining when Hazrat Mufti Muhammad Shafi Rahmatullahi contemplated about publicizing a newspaper. So Hazrat advised him if you're going to publish a paper, it should be entirely Islamic, even in character. People should say this is indeed an Islamic paper. So any advice that the standard to achieve this is to reflect the light of the Shari'usuls. 
So before deciding on any publication, any material, you need to first ascertain whether it will be permissible to verbally express these statements. Then it will be verbally permissible, it will be reality permissible to print them. So thus, light of Sharia is very important, the mizaj of Sharia. So busy with emails and um, breach. So a simple thing like the time. So your devices that you are using stick to one specific time zone and if it's in another completely different time zone, why what happens is somebody sends an email at 3 p.m to somebody else in another place. So if you look at the email, the metadata will show you on this date, at this time here, this person sent this message here. So somebody stalking, somebody seeking this information al already can narrow down the search of your location. Likewise, we discussed your email attachments. So in there, your met metadata will have the name of your computer, your local ad account identifiers, some specific software versions, etc, etc, etc. So what a person should do is, before you attach any attachments on your email, then modify the file name, remove all the metadata, and, and, and clean it completely. Likewise, a person is going to check their email, then which browser are you using? So that's very important as well. So if you need to mask your IP address, then there are many browsers. We've, we've gone through Firefox. Tor is one of them as well. So an onion router which has many benefits. One is it can block trackers, so third-party trackers which are on websites, whether it's ads, whether it's your your cookies, uh, it'll clear it when you're done browsing, so there's no history, etc. It'll, it'll protect one from surveillance, so watching your connection, knowing which sites you visit, your browsing habits, and they could put two, two, and two together like it's the sites that you go and the information that you release that could be extracted. Likewise, fingerprinting. So each person has a, a, a fingerprint based on their browser, their device information. It could help with that. Then multi-layered encryption. We'll, we'll explain that. And then uh, you have access to sites which your network may have blocked, etc. So in 2004, U.S. Naval Research Laboratory developed TOR for military personnel. Why? They wanted them to conduct searches without giving out information, whether it's their lo physical locations, information. And uh, over time, it has uh, developed. So uh, whichever oppressive systems and... and, and sections a person is in. So why is it called onion routine? Because uh, it's a technique to become anonymous. So uh, the layers of encryption become encapsulated and uh, they have different nodes which are called onion routers. So like how you peel different layers of an onion, it's covering the next data's destination. So uh, the sender will remain anonymous because there's different nodes and each node uh, conceals. Like a person goes to a website, you go online, you have an internet browser, you type the site, a request goes to the site that responds. Then you have access to that site. So now this website knows your IP address, who the service provider is, so it's compromised already. They can see your location, etc., etc. So uh, when, when you're using Tor, then between you and the website, there's uh, these additional nodes. And these chain of nodes change 
So you don't have you 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 don't have to physically do anything. It automatically changes. So that forms like an onion. So if somebody had to backtrack from the website, try to source you out, your entry point and your exit point are different. So it'll it'll make you anonymous. So uh, so your let's say you've got an entry node, a node in the middle, and let's say you got an exit node. So the exit node may be visible, but that exit node is very far away. Let's say if Tor is using a Spain as, a, as an exit node, it'll show Spain, doesn't matter where you are in the world. So uh, ideally to go directly to project.org, so do not use any, any other, use the original. Even when we download anything, go to the original site that the developers, because somebody could have uh, taken that same software, modified it, and you download anything, so you've got the original, but it may be not. So uh, third party sites uh, would not be recommended. Likewise from a person's phone or as well as smartphone, he, if he wants to use from the Play Store, Obot is a uh, Tor app which uh, encrypts your traffic, it, it uh, obscures your IP address. So uh, that's for Android operating systems. Likewise, a person has uh, iOS, then install Onion Browser, which you can get it on the iTunes App Store. So you may say, you know what, why don't we just have a email server within Tor? That's a solution. So it, it was once upon time available, but the, it was seized and the server uh, was compromised. So uh, systems evolve, we need to evolve as well. What has been said now may be history tonight. So whatever has been said also, let us do our research. If we need to improvise, uh, improvise. What's the downside of Tor? Because of these different nodes, it's going to be very slow. Likewise, the risk of, of, of accessing sites which, which we shouldn't be accessing. And if not uh, secured yourself well, you may be implicated for no reason. Likewise, there's an exit node and sometimes governments, law enforcement agencies, uh, hackers create these exit nodes and you don't have any control over that. So possibly profiled, identified, but uh, for, for safety reason, so use it on different devices. So whether if your laptop is for browsing the web, then uh, keep it for that and a separate device for Tor. So that's way of way of mitigating this 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 breach. So you separate in a layer and then in a separate physical box as well. Likewise, uh, keeping accounts, emails, segmenting it, departmentalizing it so we can become invisible is very important as well. Likewise, some websites have uh, multiple uh, different layers to load on a page so when you when you click on the download time is long then online marketplaces they will block payments because it's 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 a profile of of a fraud maybe so there are web firewalls also who throttle traffic so if a person is a tour user also there'll be uh, glitches as well in that so um, so firefox as we've described with hardened modifications that's that's what you have your primary and then based on the need and 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 and, and the area etc then you could use your tour so somebody person is traveling internet internationally and uh, if you want a private connection then uh, that's good as well uh, sometimes uh, a person need to do some research, access certain information, and uh, you you don't want the risk of malicious uh, hackers, etc. So that could be used. Likewise, certain websites are only available in the Tor network, so that could be accessed. Some some places block certain important uh, sites that you need to go to. 
example, let's say you're using ProtonMail as your email server. At one time, Russia blocked ProtonMail. So uh, all these road knocks, you can bypass it as well. When a person is traveling and uh, where there are countries where they block open internet access, then uh, you get pluggable other uh, configurations. So Meek is a, uh, a, a, a layer where you can uh, evade the censorship. The person must see what's their needs, what's their requirements, and based on that, um, you can improvise and uh, do what is needed. The amal for today is to perform salat on its time, not to delay it. So ideally, before the adhan goes, to be in the masjid. In a hadith of Qudsi, in if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inni faradhtu ala ummatika khamsa salawatin. I have made compulsory on your ummah the five salats. Ahidtu indi ahdan. I've made a covenant with myself. Annahu may yuhafidh alayhinna li waqtihinna adkhaltuhu aljanna. Whoever safeguards them at the prescribed time is a jannati, admittance, into paradise. وَمَنْ لَمْ يُحَافِذْ عَلَيْهِنَّ فَلَا أَهْدَ لَهُ عِنْدِي No protection, no covenant for one who is not particular about this. So ideally, first تَبِقُ الْخَيْرَاتِ When the time comes in for salah, immediately, even the masturat, the women in their homes should be very particular not to delay salah. Sometimes a person is busy, he'll say, no, we'll delay our salat, and then we'll, we will finish up and then read Salat. No, give priority to Salah. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.